Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my November empties and low buy update. It is a little bit late, but it's only been three weeks since I posted my October empties. I've been falling behind. I'm trying to get back on track and this is going to be a quick one. I don't have a lot of empties, so I figured let's just post this where we're at now and hopefully I will get back on track for 2023 because I do like to post my empties video as close to the end of the month as possible and it is already December 8th and I don't think this will be going up until tomorrow. So here are my December empties. There's only four products. It's going to be a quick one. First of all, I finished a clear nail polish. This was a nail base. I think this was a base coat. Yes, I'm pretty sure this was a base coat. Um, I've mentioned this before, but these are little polishes that my mother-in-law purchased on clearance. She gave a bunch to me and this is just made so cheaply that the wand or the brush on the bottle almost always eventually f splits off and frays. And I don't like these skinny uh, brushes. I like a wider brush. So when the bottle I'm using gets empty, I dump the contents of this into the bottle and I toss it. I tried to empty this out prior to my nail polish inventory this summer and I only was able to dump about half the bottle. And so I only had about a half a bottle to dump in because I've been painting my nails. And so this is one less polish in my collection, even though it's just a base coat. But this does earn me a point towards my low buy bank. So I'm very happy about that. The next empty I have is this Bliss Lemon and Sage Body Butter. I was not super impressed with this product. I felt like it's that weird uh, lotion consistency that feels amazing. It feels super soft and silky, but it doesn't actually moisturize my skin. It just kind of leaves this like soft barrier on my skin, but it doesn't actually moisturize it. Um, so with that being said, this was just a sample that I received, but I'm not interested in purchasing a full size of this. There are other body butters that I like much more than this. This was in my advent calendar project pan and I'm happy to be moving it out. I'm not gonna give myself a point for this though. This was a freebie, so no points. My next empty is my Edward Best Concealer. This has been in my Partners in Cream project all year long and it was in another project before that, I think Beauty A to Z. And it was really close to being um, flush with the plastic at my Partners in Cream update a couple weeks ago. And I did end up scooping out all of the product that's in here and moving it to my Physicians Formula Concealer Duo container, the broken packaging one. And, um, I don't dig out the product of every product I own when I'm panning. I only dig out the ones that I really enjoyed working on and I really enjoy this concealer very much. It is a really good shade as far as under eye brightening and it's a really good consistency for my under eyes. So I figured it was worth it to dig it out. I am still working on that product. Uh, there was a lot in that tube. I'm gonna be working on it for a very, very long time. But because this is empty, this packaging is moving out of my collection and I'm counting it as an empty. And I am giving myself a point for this, for sure. And my last empty is this face mask sample. I'm so excited. This is the Palmetto Derma Rejuvenating Antioxidant Mask. I received this in an Ipsy Glam Bag years and years and years ago. I'm horrible at masking. <laughs> It was a good product, but I am horrible at masking. I don't, I'm pretty sure if I went the rest of my life without applying a mask to my face, I wouldn't miss it even a, a little. I'd be totally fine. Um, and for that reason, I would like to get my overall mask inventory down to one, if not zero. And this is just a little sample, a deluxe sample. So, but still, this took me a long time. I had to really focus and make sure I used it. And I'm so happy it's gone. I am going to give myself a half of a point for this empty because it's a mask and masks are really hard for me to use up and I'm really happy it's gone. So if you've been keeping track, I am going to be giving myself two 
and a half points towards my low buy bank this month, which leads us to my low buy update. After last month's empties and low buy update, my low buy bank was at an even negative 100 points. Yikes. <laughs> I don't know how this keeps happening. I, I, it, I'm speechless, but I was at negative 100 points. So counting those two and a half points, that brings my low buy bank to negative 97.5 which is, again, always happy to be out of triple digits. I'd like to get down to, you know, much lower, but I have a long way to go to get back to black. But um, yeah, I'm happy to be heading in the right direction. The only question is, did anything new come in over the past month? And the answer is no, it didn't. Nothing new came in. I was really good over Black Friday. I resisted all the sales and I kind of dropped the ball on one sale. I was actually considering purchasing uh, a couple of the ABH brow gels, the clear brow gel. I like to stock up on those around the holidays because they're usually at a pretty steep discount. So I think they were on sale for like $16 or $14. But then Ulta was offering $10 off a purchase of $40 or more. And so I was going to try and combine the sale with the coupon. So I was trying to maximize my um, purchasing power to stock up on something I actually felt like I needed. I wouldn't have counted it against my low buy if I did buy it. But for some reason, I didn't make the purchase. I put the items in my cart and I think I got distracted <laughs> and um, I forgot all about it. And the next day I went back to my cart to make the purchase and the sale on the ABH products was over and they were full price. Now I could have still used the $10 off a purchase of $40 or more coupon, but by then I was just kind of like, oh, I could have had it for so much cheaper yesterday. And then I thought about it again and I thought, you know what? I have pots of um, pomade, brow pomade in my inventory that I'm not using because I keep buying clear brow gel and using eyeshadow with clear brow gel or brow pencils. And that's ridiculous. I could totally go without a clear brow gel for quite a while if I just start working on my pomades. And that's really what I need to do because I have like three of them, two, two or three, maybe just two. I should be working on those. So I've decided that once my current clear brow gel is gone from ABH and used up and I can't use it anymore, I am going to switch back to using a pomade in my brows because I have that on hand in my stash. I don't need to buy anything to make that work. I could just use that as is and work on that for the next five years or whatever it takes to get through a couple of pomades. So I am... I consider it a blessing that I didn't pull the trigger, although I wouldn't have counted that against my low buy um, and I would have been okay with that purchase and I would have gotten a good deal on it. I'm kind of glad that it didn't work out and that I'm going to start working on my pomades uh, whenever I do finish that ABH brow gel, which I'm guessing will be in the next month or two. There's not a lot of product coming out on the wand when I pull it out. So no purchases were made. I didn't buy anything for Black Friday. I didn't even take advantage of my birthday, whatever my birthday gift would have been for the month of November for Ulta and Sephora. That was kind of a given in past years. I would just automatically like whether I was excited about it or not, like I had to get my birthday present. It's my birthday present. It's my birthday month. So I completely resisted buying uh, anything at Ulta or Sephora to get my birthday present. Um, and yeah, I didn't, nothing new came in. Nothing through Octoly, which is now called Skeepers. Nothing through Influencer. Hi guys, <clears throat> please excuse my voice. I actually lost my voice. This never happens, but I've lost my voice. It's getting better. But I did want to talk about two things that I actually got during the last month, the month before November. What month was that, October? Yeah, both these things came into my life in October and I forgot to mention it last month and I almost forgot to mention it this month. But I'm editing the video and first of all, I wanted to talk about this deodorant. You guys know I love native deodorant, but I recently bought the scent Cashmere and Rain 
at my local Target and I'm really enjoying this scent very much. It is lovely. If you like Native or you want to try Native, I would recommend you grab this scent. It's probably a seasonal scent. So, um, you know, that I might have to stock up on this and buy a couple more. This was recommended to me by Dana. So thank you so much, Dana, for sending me a DM and letting me know about this recommendation. I've really been enjoying it. And also, I got more shelving for my bathroom. I asked for this for my birthday and I got it from my brother. And I don't know if I absolutely love it, but I'm trying to work it out. This is a two-tier shelf that has like pull-out drawers. And um, <laughs> the second Hazel saw it, she claimed the bottom shelf. So she's got headbands and bows and crap down there. And I got a couple things here. But um, this saves so much space that I am, haven't even filled up the top shelf yet. There's still room for a few more things. And basically, this is all like project panning, skincare, and perfume and stuff that I'm using. And just other stuff that I have in daily rotation. Um, so I think um, this has helped as far as space-wise. I'm going to back up so you can see what my counter looks like now. So I have the first drawer that... These drawers I bought from Ulta a couple months ago, and they were originally over here. But when I got this, I put it over here and it was covering the outlet. So I had to switch the two so that I still had access to my outlet because we use like, we shave Ron's head down here. My husband uses the, um, we use a trimmer, a, a, what are they called? Clippers down here for haircuts for my husband and my son. And so um, we need access to that outlet. But um, so I switched the two. I moved the Ulta Beauty shelves, which has all the makeup I'm panning over here. And I put these shelves over here, which is where all my skincare now is. And I don't know if I love it. Um, it's it's cluttered in a different way. Um, it is easier to clean. I could just pick that up and carry it down. Whereas before I had all these like individual bottles all over the counter. So when I had to clean the counter, I had to pick up every bottle. Now I could just pick up this whole shelving unit and put it down and it's easier to wash the counter down, which like technically needs to be done five times a day. Not that I do that, but, um, I'm trying to see if I like this setup more or less, but that's, I wanted to mention, I picked that up off of Amazon. Um, I'll try to remember to link it in the description box. They had like four different colors. So if you don't like that nice aqua and that doesn't match your space, you can find a different color. But yeah, that's what's currently going on. So I thought I'd mention it to you since it is kind of beauty related stuff. Obviously, neither of those things count against my low buy, but I figured I'd mention it in this video so you guys could know what's going on. I will have a full tour of my stuff in January. You guys, I promise I'm going to do it this year. I know I dropped the ball in 2022, but I'm doing it in January 2023. So hold tight for the full showing of all my junk. It's coming, but yeah, um, wanted to show you these two things in this video. Thanks, guys. Sorry about my voice. I sound like a dragon. It was just a good month. So my low buy balance is now at negative 97.5. All right, you guys, that is going to be it for this update. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.